In December of 2022, we celebrated the opening of this administration building. Since then, the facility with its multi-purpose vision has come to life with opportunities for staff, community, and students. Tonight, the instructional place for students takes center stage here at the Discovery Labs as we honor their namesakes, Mrs. Jane Weaver and Mr. David Prince. And it's really exciting to be here tonight and there's two local legends that we're going to recognize and how they've impacted generations of students and families and fellow colleagues. You're all in my class, okay? I don't need a microphone. Uh, I want to uh, ask you, do you know what this is? You know what this is? Only three people know what this is besides my family. Is it this post? That's the fact. And that's only the fact. And what I did and what David does is we take that fact and build on it. This, does anybody know what kind of wood this is? Boat art is a French word, but the Indians, the Osage and the Caddo, they brought it to be part of theirs. And you know what boat art means? It means wood of the bow. They searched all over for boat arc to make their bows. You can't heat with it and you can't cook with it because it sparks. It's dangerous. The pioneers threw it behind a tree. You now know some other facts, right? This is history. This is math. This is science. This is like a pebble being dropped in a pond and it just goes on and on and on. I call it expanded learning. When Mr. Neiman and I had the Prairie Project back in the beginning, we called it project-based learning. It was project-based learning, environmental learning, authentic learning, whatever you want to call it. The chance for uh, students to experience outdoor learning is invaluable. Kids need to be outside. And if you've driven any of our streets, you know they're not there anymore. They're inside now. They need to get out. They need to learn as, uh, and, and discover the world around them. And I really, I really appreciate working for a district that recognizes and supports this. Um, Camp Goddard is unique, and it is, and it is a, uh, it is an investment. Uh, our, our district makes an investment in these kids by sending them off and, 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 it, is, and it requires a great, a great commitment. In 1983, we took our first group of 47 students to Camp Goddard. I know it's a weird number, but I, I can tell you later why we came up with that. But, uh, but now it is 40 years later, and this year, as, it, as every year, 330 students will get to experience that. That's special. Um, it's exceptional, it's outstanding, and it's unusual. There aren't many districts that, that can do that. Um, but it is also because of the willingness of teachers. Teachers across our district that put in the extra work, the extra time, the lack of sleep, um, and to offer these students a week to remember for the rest of their lives. Um, it also requires a, a lot of understanding from their families. I personally am grateful to my wife, Sue Ellen, um, for her understanding over the years when I left her with my two kids and went away for a week uh, and they came back exhausted. So, did she, well, so was she by that time too. Um, Jennifer, Jennifer was three months old my first uh, year that I went to Camp Goddard. Um, it's also because of this, the unerring and fabulous support of our administration, our school board, that the students of this district still have this extraordinary opportunity. These discovery labs are a testament to the recognition of the need for our students to experience learning in the natural setting. I applaud our leadership for their insight and their support for our kids and the opportunities for discovery these labs will provide for years to come. Thank you. Please 
help us welcome the David Prince Discovery Fund.